Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between Happy versus Sock taking place here on Amazonia. On the top right hand side of the map we have Happy spawning as the red undead. Meanwhile on the bottom left we have Sock spawning as the blue human. Human versus undead in this 1v1 matchup. Things are already getting underway and we'll see what the strategies and what the execution will be of these particular players. Now, let's take a look at the cross over here. Pretty much standard builds coming in from Sock and Happy at this stage of the game. And I am expecting to see an Archmage versus a Death Knight matchup. There have been some recent patches, but I don't know if they have been applied to the NetEase servers as of yet. Uh, Eagle-eyed viewers will realize that this is the NetEase client. Um, you know, full wide aspect ratio and then all of these little buttons here. I did get the get everything else into English, so that is of great help as we're now looking at an acolyte making its way down to the bottom left hand side of the map. Now, in terms of strategy, undead players generally want to harass early on. They don't have that much creep creeping potential and well, harassing a human player early on um, with their low hit point archmage is relatively easy. Now the human player and undead player will both try to get to a quick tier 2, but the undead player is the one that normally continues on to tier 3. Destroyers very powerful in the matchup as they're able to and well nullify any use of slow from sorceresses, meanwhile making water elementals a little bit, bit of a double-edged sword. If you, if you only drop water elementals one at a time and they're clumped together, Summon. destroyers will easily devour them, get all of their hit points back, and deal bonus damage back. Always a little bit of an issue there as we now look at the Death Knight already picking up that Rod of Necromancy and on the move. Let's take a look at this. Is this footman going to spot the Death Knight? No, I don't believe so. And that may have been deliberate. The Acolyte could have purposely walked a different route so that the Death Knight would not be revealed on the minimap. If that is in fact the case, that is very well done. As you're going to take a look, Archmage picks up some of those there. There's a Death Coil. Death Knight does get a little bit of experience. Rod of Necromancy is now out onto the field. Archmage is sitting at level 1 though. As we may see the Rogue now get taken down. Rogue taken down by the Death Knight, stealing that experience. Death Knight going to get some more kills there. Level 2 on the Archmage from the Skeletal Warrior though, as this one low hit point peasant has to be extremely careful. Alright, a little bit of fighting back and forth. This peasant going to try to stay away from the range of that Death Knight. Death Knight, however, still does not have enough mana. And that Death Knight may end up being the one that is low on hit points if he is not careful. That footman coupled with that archmage together do deal a, a fair amount of damage and that death knight simply cannot stand around and absorb that damage. We are taking the tier 2 already from the town hall here. Meanwhile, Necropolis has already was started a long time ago as the footman now looking to get away. As you can take a look, the footman has taken a large amount of damage. Acolyte, same thing as well. Is the acolyte going to back off? There, both of them are trying to keep track and keep tabs onto those units. Meanwhile, archmage is trying to get up ahead. We'll be going after the Forest Troll Berserker. All right, Acolyte going to be coupling away. Death Knight could be making its round easily, easy long distance death coil there as the Acolyte, well, gets sight and that Death Knight gets the kill. Nicely done. Meanwhile, Archmage is going to finish off the remainder of this creep camp here. Forest Troll Trapper now taken down. There it goes as the Death Knight is revealed. Rodham Necromancy once again used. And we'll see where those skeletal minions will be heading off to. Skeletal minions do deal more damage per swing compared to those footmen, even though they are on timed life. They also give less experience, but then again, as they should. Skeletal minion going to be heading over here to the bottom left-hand side of the map. Perhaps to try to do a little bit of clearing low hit point militias purposely getting out of the base to make sure that they are not going to end up falling militia now trying to come back across here. You can see the skeletal minions are going to go ahead and try and engage this low hit point militia down to 56 hit points needs to get away. Meanwhile off to the north Archmage is trying to get some um, some a little bit of extra damage there. There it goes ring of protection plus two going to be picked up here. As the footman, who is going to get that next kill? Death Knight sitting at level 1, almost at level 2. Level 2, now the Crypt Fiends get the final shot off there. Archmage desperately wants level 3 and may not be able to get it. Skeletal Minion down to 118 hit points. Every little bit of experience does help, but not enough 
three experience shy as the death knight may come with the death coil right there but the archmage holds its attack alongside all of those footmen to get to level three good use of micro in that situation by sock getting to level three on the archmage death knight still sitting at level two but well as any eagle-eyed viewers of human versus undead players know um, or matchups know well this is not that bad of a spot to be in 26 over 30 supply oh the the additional regeneration while on blight actually coming back to haunt as we're gonna take a look as the, at the death knight now trying to clear out the remainder of this creep camp rogue gonna take a lot of damage right here as the crypt fiends will be able to burst it down picking up a slippers of agility not that great of an item all all in all meanwhile archmage has a number of good items sells a lot of them and now going to be going after the sasquatch goblin merchant creep camp forest troll shadow priest quickly getting taken down tome of strength plus two he should walk around this and try and pick this up mountain king is being trained as we are getting up a single arcane sanctum no dual sanctums just the uh, single type here as this low hit point footman may want to back off and get head on home very low on hit points already archmage does have a wand of lightning shield and the archmage will be just shy of level four all right when i say just shy yeah you know what is that less than 10 percent away low hit point footman may end up getting taken down lich could be in trouble could end up getting spotted right here what is going on is the archmage gonna go ha actually go after all of those units no low hit point footman going back the other way death knight sitting at 439 hit points a bash coming in from the cobalt taskmaster stunning the mountain king preventing him from getting in an extra storm bolt all right time is a running water elemental could try and engage things could go uh, poorly very quickly as the skeletal minions could get taken down all right mountain king oh low hit point footman gonna get taken down stormbolt is it gonna go down on any unit yes it is death knight comes in with the death quail there it is on time as another footman will get taken out mountain king however is right there there goes another footman as well as the mountain king perhaps trying to finish off that death knight but the death knight will be able to escape archmage is still in position rifleman doing a little bit of a dance and as the archmage gets up to level four level two stormbolt excuse me level two um brilliance aura is now underway most likely i gotta believe it yes level two brilliance aura as we now see a surround onto the lich lich is between a water elemental and a mountain king death knight however finishes off the mountain king going to trade a lich for a, a mountain a mountain king right there as the death knight now gets the level three skeletal main is going to get taken down dark ranger now joins in on the fight benefits of having an additional tier on your opponent as you're able to hire up a dark ranger immediately damage is going to add back up 38 supply compared to 36 sock is a little bit behind rifleman now going to be forced to retreat here as the death knight sits at level three comfortably all right still waiting for some obsidian statues have they started to join in yes they have as the footman wants to make sure that there is no free and easy creeping that's really what you want to try and shut down a new water or an old water elemental showing back up to the party uh, trying to catch up to all of those units but with that unholy aura and that movement speed all of those units able to get away mountain kings uh, out on the field still sitting at level one getting some precious mana keep now being upgraded as well and this is the odd situation now for human human um, do they go into knights to deal with the sheer number of crypt queens that are out onto the field a uh, footman also um, not that successful and that great against um crypt fiends as well once you have defend up you can't really get within range of those crypt fiends as those crypt fiends have the bonus movement speed from the uh, unholy aura of that death knight and the range of those crypt fiends so trying to get within melee range actually um, turns into a little bit of a situation all right let's take a look at the following here water elemental trying to go after the obsidian statue water obsidian statue down to 171 hit points but the water elemental taken down in time obsidian statue up to 174 hit points death coil frost nova onto the archmage archmage will not be able to turn back around no wait gonna be going for it wants to get every bit of damage that he can as that archmage is down to what now 192 this is giving an opportunity for that mountain king to get to level three and this may come as a big shock to happy happy is not gonna be 
content or thrilled to see that Mountain King at level 3 with level 2 Stormbolt. Interesting use right here as we're going to take a look. Mountain King going to come across all of these units. Footman may decide to back up here or unless he's just willing to let that Footman fall. Let's take a look at that. There goes the Footman now making its way through. Archmage picks up a Replenishment Potion. I thought that possibly could be given to the Mountain King. Mountain King, however, does have level 3 with a Sobi Mask now. And that is going to be plenty of mana to go around. We are finally going into Workshop. Fly Machines are being added. Death Knight has to consider his options in this next engagement. Lich at level 2 with the Orb of Corruption. 49 supply compared to 47. Now, as you may have noticed, Sock is running without an expansion. And... And I've said this a number of times. I don't, I cannot easily recall human players beating undead players without being up an expansion. It just seems to be the way it goes. Um, the undead units seem to be just a tad more powerful, even they are more, though they are more expensive. But in a game where there is a supply, supply cap and taxing, well, that does come back to haunt as the upgrades just don't scale very well with all of these human units. All right, riflemen. Priest all joining in. Adept training has been added as well. You're going to finish off some of these forest troll trappers. There it goes. Three priests. Six supply to keep this entire army alive. Meanwhile, two obsidian statues doing the same exact thing as well. Destroyers up in the air going after those flying machines here. They do have the level two weapons upgrade alongside those riflemen. Big thunderclap across multiple units here. And well, Sock is doing a great job with this push. All right, Lich is still seeing that level two. Are we going to perhaps see another big thunderclap? What is going on? Water elementals are getting destroyed rather easily as we see a silence go down onto the Mountain King. Water elemental will get taken out again. All these units are going back every which way, trying to figure out which units to get taken down. Destroyers and Crypt Fiends trying to fight back. Potion of Invulnerability onto the Mountain King as the Mountain King almost finishes off a Dark Ranger. Dark Ranger in a little bit of trouble. Mountain King still low on mana. It needs to get as much mana as possible. Wants 75. Death Coil beautifully timed once again. And Sock is starting to lose this. All right, Mountain King doesn't get the next level. I believe there was a Dark Ritual here. Lich may be able to get a Frost Nova off. Whoever is retreating is going to be losing in this battle. Paladin going to come across. Are we going to see a Holy Light anywhere onto any of those units? Holy Light onto the Rifleman as the Priests are in the backfield trying to heal back up. There goes a Rifleman there as the Paladin and the Mountain King are trying to fight back here. All right, Death Knight continuing the engagement. A poor Rifleman down to 133 hit points, about to get taken down. Flying Machine showing up to the party. Archmage going to try and turn things back around. Militia showing up as well as they are coming in from the bottom to do a little bit of a flank. All right, Death Knight finally low on mana, but I believe another Dark Ritual denying experience. Massive denial on experience across the board. The Art the Paladin only has what a what a small amount of a small amount of experience so far as we continue to see the fight just unfold all right flying machines looking to fight back here destroyer about to get away down to 156 hit points able to get away once again as you see the death knight chasing after the back line there goes another priest the dark minions coming back out paladin gonna get taken down no 20 hit point escape there is the destroyer gonna get taken out I do not believe so either. Death Coil saves it as the Death Knight heals back up. Great, great synergy between the Dark Rangers, Black Arrow, and well, the Death Pack and Death Pack and Dark Ritual. Come on, come on. Let's see. Yeah, uh, Death Pack and Dark Ritual of the Lich and the Death Knight. The high hit points on those Dark Minion, 290 hit points on a Time Life unit. The Death Knight is just regenerating all those hit points quite easily, and the Lich is going to be able to get back up to full mana in no time at all. Sock, definitely bleeding, definitely hurting from that last battle, but he still can recover. He needs to execute some great play um, in order to get back up on the stable footing, but... At this point, Happy, the way he's been playing, should be able to take this game short of any sort of mental lapse. Death Knight, Lich, Dark Ranger, aggroing some units. Here we go. No chance of a creep jack here whatsoever. This this creep camp is rather difficult to take out. Granite Golem, however, not slamming the ground. You got to be careful, though. Once you get in within range here, you can start slamming. And a lot of damage will add up very quickly across multiple units. 
one obsidian statue already well low on mana and that's not what you want to see going into the next fight all right mountain king still off over here paladin still seeing that level one should be able to get to level two i believe that's unholy aura as the paladin well should be able to get a divine shield um divine shield and also be going after this rock golem now all right final rock golem taken down Paladin gets a little bit of experience. Mountain King Archmage was nearby. Did he take some? That Paladin seemed like it didn't get that much at all. Now, one current issue. No Orb of Fire on the Mountain King at all. No Orb of Fire, no Orb of Fire on the Paladin. And once you're at Tier 3 and you know your opponent has uh, Destroyers, an Orb of Fire almost to be almost needs to be a foregone conclusion it gives you a little bit of splash damage but more importantly it gives you a better way to try and counter um, those destroyers those destroyers are dealing so much damage and are able to devour magic riflemen i guess if you have enough of them that is fine but well the mountain king is going to be able to get into position 50 supply compared to 58 there are no upgrades on the crypt fiends compared to the 20 upgrades on the riflemen and the flying machines this could and with flak cannons this could go very poorly for saki as he is down by 11 supply but you got to remember he also had the upgrade going into the last fight he had the upgrade advantage and he still came out as the loser in that battle. All right. Destroyers able to live up to their name, trying to take down some of those fly machines. Fly machines now perhaps going to try and go after all of these units here. What's going to be happening next? Fly machines, where are they going to go? Uh, nope, not going to try and engage at all. 50 supply compared to 64. And now... If Happy doesn't engage sometime soon, his his army advantage is going to be completely neutralized by the economic disadvantage he's currently in. He's losing three gold a second and when he's not actually engaging and fighting with that larger army since that army is not paying for, well, or isn't doing anything. It's not pushing um, pushing happy into victory while the mining is still having some effect on the outcome of the game 65 over 70 compared to 54 over 65 looks like sock is finally ready to break that uh, low upkeep threshold we are going to be getting some priest in as well up to 56 we are trying to get i believe some more peasants more farms all here ready to go flying machines are upgraded 3-0 and even then this fight could go poorly 3-0 upgrades rifleman 21 to 36 damage come on compared to 26 to 31 here who actually comes out ahead 26 to 31 compared to 21 to 36 it is about the same crypt fiends however i believe have have a slower attack and um yeah and worse range so that could be the issue there 71 supply compared to 56 lich with that negative five or i believe negative four armor debuff still trying to get everything into the proper order as we are not getting any sort of armor upgrades arcane vault has been rebuilt let's take a look at this no armor upgrades 74 over 80 supply army now making its way off to the north 59 supply compared to 74 who's going to come out ahead mountain king is right here water elemental going to join in on the fight paladin sitting at level two and that is going to be key. You can see the expansion off to the north has been started as the Dark Ranger. What's going to happen here? Dark Black Arrows onto that Mountain King. Mountain King should be quite all right. Thunderclap. No, no Thunderclap. Getting silenced right there. Holy light by the Paladin to try and save. And it ends up working. Staff of Sanctuary saves a unit there as the Mountain King going to try and continue to engage. Militia now running off to the north, finishing off there as we now see a round of web taking down the flying machines destroyers pulling back one at a time crypt fiends are getting taken down mountain king gonna turn back around is gonna be able to storm bolt or do anything no holy light not in time but potion of invulnerability instead all right there's a holy light there's a big thunderclap storm bolt finishes off another unit Pal paladin has to get another holy light onto that mountain king there's a death coil mountain king is in trouble trying to get away down to 94 hit points still trying to run is it gonna get taken down holy light again saves the unit as you can see, the fly machines are starting to try to eat away at those destroyers. Destroyers simply mass in number. Mass riflemen going up against mass destroyers. Now, as the destroyers are being forced to retreat, low hit point. 
Um, Rifleman finally getting taken out. Divine Shield now being brought in. Lich in trouble. Is it going to be able to make its way out? Does have a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. Dark Ranger gets up to level 4. Where is the Mountain King? I believe the Mountain King was taken out or perhaps staffed out. I do not see him any longer as the Paladin looking to finish off more and more units. Death Knight still has plenty of mana to go around. Paladin could be in trouble. Down to 65, down to 90. Staff of Sanctuary, Squirrel of Town Portal to get away. There is the... There is the Paladin. I don't see the Mountain King. Perhaps he was actually taken out because of the cooldown. And, well, that is pretty much going to stifle any chances. Sock down to 38 supply compared to Happy's 61. All of the gold mine units have been taken down here. But the Death Knight sitting at level 5. Lich is now back up to full. And it looks like Happy should just be able to move forward. All right, Mountain King. Is it going to get resurrected? Rifleman off over here trying to heal up all of these units. Um, still not working out all too well. Flying Machines, 3-0 upgrades. Um, just trying to go up against the sheer number of units here. Paladin in a little bit of trouble. Divine Shield quickly being used to get away. It needs to get away and in a hurry. Where is it running off to? Running double backing around again. What is going on? I thought he would have run into the base instead as he's going to end up losing time. Oh, mismanagement, miscontrol. Sock is in trouble. What is he doing as the are we gonna see another staff of sanctuary yes we are all right a little bit of a little bit of flying coming across flak cannon starting to make their toll abominations now making their way as well meanwhile that there is a more web being brought down mountain king was resurrected but well resurrected mountain kings don't have much of a life and there it goes happy looks like he'll be able to finish this battle off he has the economic advantage. He has the army advantage. And there is the leave. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.